Hi there. Now here we have a question based on the factor theorem. So if you'd like to have a go at this, haven't seen it already, just give you a moment to pause the video. When you come back, you can check your work solution against mine. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So we've got to use the factor theorem then to show that x minus 2 is a factor of this function f of x up here. Now, as a brief reminder, the factor theorem should be aware of this. If not, do check out my video tutorials on it. That is that if f of x is a polynomial and f of p equals 0, then x minus p is a factor of f of x. So if we compare what we've got here, p would have to be 2. What I'm hoping for is that f of 2 would equal 0. And if it does, then it would be a factor. So that's what we need to do for this one. Have a look at what f of 2 is going to be. So that would be 2 times 2 cubed, and then minus 7 times 2 squared, plus 4 times 2, and then plus 4. And what we've got then is 2 times 2 cubed, that's 16. And here you've got 7 times 4, which is minus 28 there. And then 4 twos are 8, and plus the 4. And what we get is indeed 0. So let's have a conclusion. We put, therefore, x minus 2 is a factor of f of x. Now, there is another way quite often that you can do with questions like this, and that is to do algebraic long division. Divide x minus 2 into f of x, and hopefully it will go in exactly. It will leave you with no remainder. But you couldn't do that for this question because it says use the factor theorem. So generally for questions like this anyway, I would want to use the factor theorem. But there you go. hope that's uh, been of some use to you.